All right, so today was the first day of orientation slash training. Pretty much got there, had to fill a bunch of paperwork, do a full application. They sent me for a uh, drug test as a physical. Done all that, met up with my uh, my trainer, driver, driver lead, driver, whatever, I guess trainer. Um, hopped in the truck with him, done two loads with him, pretty much went to the fuel rack and uh, just watched everything pretty much. I didn't get to touch anything or it was just pretty much a watching, just him showing me what all, you know, what it looks like, you know. Took me on one of his trips to the uh, gas station, showed me him delivering fuel, got back in, done another load, came back, dropped me off at the terminal. So uh, it looked pretty easy, you know. Uh, it's a line at the loading rack, but other than that, the gas station, um, they kind of tight. They kind of tight. Uh, Y'all yeah, know I don't. I'm not with like a uh, a truck stop style fuel haul. I don't have like a Loves or a Pilot J or anything like that. I'm a regular gas station. So the gas stations are um, it's pretty tight, man. It's extremely tight. It's a well-known gas station too. That's why I don't want to see it. But uh, they do have cameras in the truck, front and back facing. You got to wear a uniform. Keep your shirt tucked in. Um, they got newer trucks. They got new new day cab trucks everything brand new latest greatest shoe shine um so yeah i get to drive in a nice truck um as far as the benefits they went over the benefits with me pretty much all the fuel hollows down they make 100k and um it's a lot of work too you gotta work five days a week um, they want to put me on night shift, which is 3 a.m. to 3 p.m. So that means I pretty much got to wake up 2 in the morning. And it was freezing cold, too, this morning, but you know, I just got to get used to it. Pretty much I wake up about 2 in the morning, head out to the, uh, the terminal, get in the truck, let it warm up, and um, go from now, basically. You know, do my pre-trip, post-trip, all that stuff. Um... It's all low pay. I'm not paid by the hour. It's all low pay. So, you know, uh, my trainer's going to show me how to do it the best effective way. That way I can get as many stops as possible. He tried to do six to seven loads a day. Um, you know, you got to fight with traffic, of course. Rush hour traffic hit at seven in the morning here in Nashville. So you, you do got to fight traffic a little bit. But um, other than that... Supposed to make 100k. I got all the uh, benefits, Medicare, dental, vision, all that good stuff. 401k. Um, the 401k is capped though. It's capped to 1200 dollars. So basically, if you put in 1200 dollars, they'll match you up to 1200 dollars. And yeah, I, I thought 401k. I thought it was like. They just match you unlimitedly. Like, however much you put in, they just keep matching. I, I didn't know it was a cap on it uh, per year. I didn't know that. So, you know. Um, but, yeah, that's that's pretty much all to it for the first day. I make 100 k now, and I got all the benefits, you know, things that uh, things that I didn't have when I had my own company. You know, when I had my own company, you know, uh, pretty much if you're an owner-operator or a motor carrier, you, you know, you don't have any benefits whatsoever. You don't have 401k. You don't have retirement. Um, you don't have any of that. You know, you, you don't have any of that. Uh, you don't have a brand new truck. There's no brand new truck. Um, no uniform. You know, now I get a uniform, so I pretty much wear the same thing to work every day. But... That's pretty much the, the, the benefits between being a W-2 worker and, you know, me with my, my motor carrier, you know. Now I got benefits. They pay for everything, all the benefits, and I make 100 k on paper. So, other than that, um, it's pretty much all for day one. You know, I start back again tomorrow. Going to meet them up here at 9 a.m. tomorrow. And uh, I don't know if we're going to go through a full day of working or what, but... That's where we at with it. That's where we at. Oh, you work every day too. Not every day, but you work um, through the rain, sleet, snow, hail, ice, ice storm. Uh, sometimes they may need you to work the sixth day. If they call you, you're probably going to have to come in and work. Um, 
I can't get off on the weekends, of course, because, you know, the, the people that have been there the longest, they already got those days off. So I'm probably going to get Tuesday and Wednesday off or Tuesday or Thursday. You know, they get to pick that, you know, and I actually get my truck and all that. So uh, I won't really be doing any videos of me fuel hauling. You know, they got the cameras in the truck and soon I guys constantly watching. I know the first day I show y'all the truck or the trailer, y'all gonna make them phone calls anyway, so it's no point in doing that. So it won't be no actual phone, no, no videos of me doing fuel hauling. Just pretty much come on YouTube, talk about my day. Um, oh, and I, I, I home every day. Of course, y'all, I get home every day. So home every day, 100K. A bunch of benefits, 401k, uh, everything you could possibly ask for, you know. So, as far as the authority, I just probably end up shutting that down. You know, don't got to deal with that. Don't got the headache of having to, uh, you know, drive a cash truck, you know, uh, and find freight. Obviously, you know, DAT, they ain't doing too good. Freights are down. I mean, rates are down. I ain't got to worry about that no more. You know, uh, the Super Tie guys, they handle all that now. They handle the rates of whatever they pay for fuel. And, you know, I just get my check on Friday. Get my check on Friday, go home. Don't got to worry about nothing. No no trucks, anything like that. So uh, what I'm probably going to end up doing, I'm going to hold on to my trucks until probably like after winter time or until I hear that you guys are making more money in trucking, then I probably just start selling the trucks one by one. And uh, I may keep one truck, but I probably just sell them one by one. And um, yeah, just ride this job out. You know, home every day 100K is not that many fuel hauling positions around here. So, you know, I just happen to get one. And yeah, that's where we at with it. So, to recap, I make 100K now on paper. I got all the benefits Medicare, dental vision. Uh, disability, they gave me that too. Short and long term care, all that stuff. Um, I got everything I didn't have when I was a you know motor carry owner operator. I, I, you know, you know, you know, they do the investing for me. You know, the 401k, they do the investing. Now I don't gotta do my own investing because they invest for me. You know, I just as long as I'm putting money into my 401k, they do the investing. So I, Mr. Charlie handle everything for me. So that's what we're going. That's, that's day one for you. So tomorrow I'll come back with a video and we'll talk about day two. I'm back in the White Castle line. That's why it's taking so long. So gonna give me some White Castles, you know. Uh, shoot. No. Gonna try to find me a new gym to go to, too, man. Try to find a good gym. That's what I'll be doing now, working out on my off days. Well, not on my off days, you know, working out with nobody. Um, did off work, I guess. Work out every day, and uh, I may end up changing this channel around or something, because, like I said, it won't be, it's not, not much to talk about with the fuel hauling. I mean, I woke up, went to work, I do fuel hauling, you know, uh, it's not really much to talk about. I'm not going to be showing anything. Um, it don't really seem too strict. You know, when I was riding with him, it didn't seem too strict, at least. You know, but they do got the cameras. They are watching. But it didn't seem all too bad. But I'm not in a truck by myself, so, you know, I don't know. But that's pretty much it right there. If I think of something else I missed, I'll uh, let y'all know in another video. But that's all I got for this one.